Hello students, I am Jnaneshwara TN, Assistant Professor of English. In this session, I am going to introduce a poem, Seven Ages of Man, written by William Shakespeare. The poem, Seven Ages of Man, is an extract from Shakespeare's romantic comedy, As You Like It. We come across in the drama, the adventures undertaken by the heroine Rosalind and her cousin Celia, who ran away to the forest of Arden. In this forest, Duke the senior, the father of Rosalind, lived in. The lines in this poem are spoken by Jacquis, the Duke's man, who philosophizes everything in life. He compares the different stages in a man's life to parts of a play. Jacquis says, man begins his journey as a baby in the first act of the play and ends as an old man facing death in the last act. In this sense, the world is a theatrical stage and men and women are actors. As you like it, is a pastoral comedy by William Shakespeare, believed to have been written in 1599 and first published in the first folio in 1623. As You Like It follows its heroine Rosalind as she flees persecution in her uncle's court, accompanied by her cousin Celia to find safety and eventually love in the forest of Arden. In the forest, they encounter a variety of memorable characters, notably the melancholy traveller Jacquis, who speaks many of Shakespeare's most famous speeches, such as, All the world's a stage, too much of a good thing, and a fool, a fool, I met a fool in the forest. Jacquis provides a sharp contrast to the other characters in the play, always observing and disputing the hardships of life in the country. William Shakespeare was an English playwright, poet and actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist. Shakespeare was born and raised in Stratford upon Avon. At the age of 18, he married Annie Hathaway. Sometime between 1585 and 1592, he began a successful career in London as an actor, writer and part owner of a playing company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men, later known as the King's Men. Shakespeare produced most of his known works between 1589 and 1613. His extant works, including collaborations, consist of some 39 plays, 154 sonnets, three long narrative poems, and a few other verses, some of uncertain authorship. His early plays were primarily comedies and histories and are regarded as some of the best works produced in these genres. He then wrote mainly tragedies until 1608, among them Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, Othello, King Lear and Macbeth, all considered to be among the finest works in the English language. In the last phase of his life, he wrote tragic comedies and collaborated with other playwrights. Many of Shakespeare's plays were published in editions of varying quality and accuracy in his lifetime. However, in 1623, two fellow actors and friends of Shakespeare's, John Hemmings and Henry Condell, published a more definitive text known as the First Folio, a posthumous collected edition of Shakespeare's dramatic works 
that included all but two of his plays. Its preface was a prescient poem by Ben Jonson that hailed Shakespeare with the now famous epithet, not of an age, but for all time. He is often called England's national poet and the bard of even. His plays have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those of any other playwright. His works continue to be studied and reinterpreted. Around 1613, he appears to have retired to Stratford, where he died three years later. The poem Seven Ages of Man is an extract from Shakespeare's romantic comedy, As You Like It. It is a monologue that is spoken by the melancholy Jacquis. Jacquis compares the different stages in a man's life to the acts of a play. He says that the world is a theatrical stage and men and women are players or actors. They come and go on the stage. One man in his lifetime plays many parts or roles. Jacquis divides the human life into seven stages each stage having its own qualities and characteristics. Man plays seven roles on the stage depending on his age. In the first act, he is an infant crying and vomiting in the nurse's arms. In the second act, he is a schoolboy with a shiny face. He goes to school carrying a school bag and walking as slowly as a snail, unwilling to go to school. In the third act, man plays the role of a lover. When the fire is blown out by the current of a lady's rejection, his heart sighs like a furnace and he sings a sad ballad. In the fourth stage, he plays the role of a soldier. He is bearded, quick in quarrel, and takes strange votes. He is jealous, seeking honor and bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. In the fifth stage, he plays the role of a justice or judge. He is well fed and has a fat belly. He has fierce eyes and beard of formal cut. He tells wise sayings and new instances as a wise man. He advises the people around him. In the sixth stage, he becomes lean like Pantaloon, a weak old man from Italian comedy with spectacles on nose and pouch on side. His hose is too wide for his shrunken legs. His loud, manly voice is turned again into high-pitched voice of a child, similar to the sounds of pipes and whistles. The last scene is the end of his strange, eventful history. It is his second childhood for him. He seems to forget everything. He loses teeth eyes, taste, and almost everything. We shall analyze the poem. Shakespeare has divided human life into seven stages with a touch of satire and cynicism. In each stage, man imagines himself great and important, but there is something ridiculous in his behavior all through his life. As a schoolboy, he is unwilling to go to school. As a lover, he sighs like a furnace. When the fire is blown out by the current of a lady's rejection, the heart sighs like a furnace and he sings a sad ballad. As a soldier, he seeks bubble reputation even in the mouth of cannon. As a justice, he has a pot belly. In the sixth stage, 
horse is too wide for his shrunken legs. His loud, manly voice is turned again into high-pitched voice of a child, similar to the sound of pipes and whistles. Seven Ages of Man is an excerpt from William Shakespeare's well-loved play, As You Like It. Specifically, it is a monologue that is spoken by the melancholy Jacquis. The monologue is 28 lines long and is in part written in blank verse or unrhymed iambic pentameter. Shakespeare has described each stage of man's life with economy of words. He uses living and concrete images to describe the different stages of life. He compares the man with a lover, a soldier and a justice. He uses the images of Parmes, Paul, Cannon, a good capon, spectacles, hose, pipes and whistles. Pard means leopard. A capon is a domestic cook. Hose means tight-fitting leg coverings worn by men. The figures of speech used in the poem are simile, metaphor and alliteration. In a simile, a comparison between two distinctly different things is explicitly indicated by the word like or as. Examples from the poem are creeping like a snail unwilling to school and then lover sighing like furnace and bearded like the part. In a metaphor, one kind of thing is applied to a distinctly different kind of thing without asserting a comparison. For example, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. Shakespeare uses the stage as an extended metaphor in this poem. Other examples are seeking the bubble reputation, the sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, pipes and whistles in his sound. Alliteration is the repetition of a speech sound in a sequence of nearby words. Examples from the poem are and shining morning face, creeping like a snail, and quick in quarrel, for a shrunk shank. Now we shall discuss the themes of this poem. World as a theatrical stage. Shakespeare compares the world to a stage and life to a play and the seven stages of man's life to seven acts of a play. Men and women are actors in the play. They have many roles to play in their lifetime. The stage remains permanent. Only the actors and actresses change with time. They have exits and entrances to appear in different roles. The next theme is stages of human life. The central theme of this monologue is life and its seven stages. Shakespeare takes the reader through the stages of life starting with infancy and childhood and ending up with an old man who has been a lover, a soldier and a judge. The man dies after reverting back to a state that's close to childhood and infancy. The concept of seven ages derives from medieval philosophy which constructed groups of seven as in the seven deadly sins for theological reasons. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Have a nice day.